What's going on today, Chris? So I'm working on the interior, doing a lot of spraying. So I need um, a few tips. I need a Titan HEA tip to do um, ceilings. I need um, a fine finish tip, so a 310 to spray some trim. And then I need the spray wall, so I need a 515 Bedford tip if you got them. We got all three of them. Cool, thank you. You want these on the account? Yeah, that's all I need for today. All right, my friend, you're good to go. Cool, thank you, have a great day, Dave. You too. So I get asked a lot on my social media and at Paint Life Supply Co, what tip do I spray trim with or what tip do I spray, you know, et cetera with. So I'm gonna go over a little bit of um, tips and the number one thing I get asked is what tip do I spray trim with? So I'll go over that one first. So I typically interior trim, exterior trim, and like side man doors, gutters, I'm always using a 310 tip. I think a 310 is the most versatile tip there is when it comes to spraying trim um, or spraying gutters or spraying doors. So I typically am gonna be using, I prefer a Tri-Tech tip. Tri-Tech fine finish tips to me are the best fine finish tips made today. So that's a Tri-Tech gold fine finish tip. If I can't get a Tri-Tech, I'm gonna be using a Titan fine finish tip. There's a lot of tips, tip sizes out there, 410s, 510s, etc. But I think once again, the most versatile tip, if you can only get one or choose one for fine finishes, I would use a 310. The next thing I get asked would be, um, you know, what do I spray the body of my house with? Or what do I spray the walls inside of my house with? Uh, I'm gonna talk about production tips. So production tips, right here we've got um, a Titan production tip and a Bedford production tip. I'm, I typically am always spraying my exteriors a 515 tip. That's my go-to tip, and it's essential to choose the right tip size when it comes to controlling overspray. I don't have problems with overspray because I don't try to spray too big of a tip, and I don't try to spray too small of a tip because it would just take me too long. Bedford tips are the most cost productive uh, production tips there are now. Um, so I use the black Bedford 515. If I can't get a, um, a Bedford tip, then I'm gonna be using a Titan production tip. So the red is their production tips. It gives a nice square edge to them. So a Titan or Bedford 515 for spraying exterior walls on a um, house, on the interior, I'd probably kick it up to a 517 or a 619. So the next tip I want to talk about um, would be an HEA tip. So Titan has created these HEA tips that give a nice feathered edge. I don't like using them um, on exteriors because I think that they just create more overspray um, even though they run at low pressures. But on interiors for spray and ceilings, there is nothing better than an HEA tip. And I'll all spray ceilings on an interior walls and ceilings, um, but typically ceilings, I'd probably want a 619. If I didn't have a 619, I'd go with a 517 either or, but an HEA is a must for spraying interior ceilings and probably spraying interior walls also. So now when it comes to uh, the pressures I spray, you know, these tips get asked a lot. So what tip and what pressure? So if I'm spraying fine finish tips, that'll be the, the Tri-Tech Gold. I really like um, those for fine finishes or the Titan Purple. That's their fine finishes with the purple tips. I'm typically running about two, 2,200 PSI, 2,000 to 2,200 PSI for spraying any type of trim with a fine finish tip, um, the, the gold or the purple. So when it comes to uh, production tips, so the Bedford, um, I like the Bedford Black once again, or if I don't have that, I'm gonna be going with a Titan uh, Red production tip when I'm spraying production tips, just like with fine finish tips. I got a pressure range somewhere between 200 our 2,000 and 2,200 PSI is where I'm gonna be running my pressure at. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the HEA tips. So one of the confusions about HEA tips, it's a green tip. This is, these are not fine finish tips. You don't wanna confuse them with Graco green tips that are fine finish tips. This is a high production tip. HEA stands for um, high efficiency airless tip. These tips have to be run in low pressures. If you don't run them at low pressures, you're gonna have all kinds of issues with the tip not spraying right. 
um, huge amounts of overspray. The pressure range is going to be somewhere between 800 and 1100 PSI is where you're going to get you know, the proper spray pattern with an HEA tip. They do say they last longer from my experiences. They don't last longer because they run under pressure, but they give a nice feathered edge. And on the interiors, that's exactly what you want. When it comes to knowing that pressure, uh, Titan makes a gauge called an HEA gauge that has um, a green indicator point that tells you exactly where your pressure is on your pump so you know you're running the proper pressure. If you're running like a 410 or 440 that doesn't have a pressure gauge, you need to know the pressure at your gun to get these things to run correctly and give you the proper spray pattern. So what is a Titan HEA gauge you might add? To that, that's a gauge that you would act, attach to your pump or you would attach to your gun to know the exact PSI that you're actually running your sprayer at or your gun at. The HEA tips have to be run at a specific pressure right between 800 and 1100 PSI to function properly. I like to run um, the pressure indicator, that gauge at my pump because putting it on the gun, it makes the gun a lot more a lot heavier and it just gets in the way. I attach it to the pump and you can um, you can use it for any tips because I like to, with my production tips, with my fine finish tips, even HEA tips, I like to know what the pressure is um, that I'm running it with all my tips, not just HEA tips. So it's good to have on all your pumps, any of your pumps that don't have like a digital readout, get one of those HEA gauges. For um, 50 feet of hose, there's typically about a 50 to 75 drop in PSI from the hose to the gun. So if you wanted it to um, run at 1100 PSI, you're probably gonna be wanting to run at 1170 PSI to get the proper pressure at the gun.